I talk about productivity apps on this channel quite a lot, but if I had to keep just one productivity app, it would be a very easy decision. I'd keep Notion. I started using Notion probably about two years ago now, and it is by far my most used productivity app. I pretty much run my entire life from it, both my personal life and my work life. So this video is sponsored by Notion. I actually made another sponsored video exactly one year ago. And back then I only had seven pages on my Notion. However, now I have 20 different pages doing 20 different things. So in this video, I'm gonna go through how I essentially organize my entire life through Notion and how you can optimize your own productivity through Notion, particularly if you're a student. And by the way, there's a link in the description if you want to download Notion and try it for yourself to build your own productivity system. Notion is 100% free for students and educators, so you can sign up with your school email address to get instant access to all personal pro plan features. So this is what my Notion looks like right now. As you can see from the sidebar, there's a lot going on. So I'll go through each page in no particular order. First, I want to walk you through the knowledge bank. So I made this page about six months ago and I've used it pretty much every single day since. The idea is, is that when you're reading a book, when you're listening to a podcast or watching a video, 99% of the information isn't that important. It's just fluff, right? However, you spend hours consuming content for that 1% of golden advice, that golden nugget of information that resonates with you so powerfully that it triggers you into taking action and changing the course of your path. The Knowledge Bank is designed to capture that 1% of information that really matters. So reviewing the Knowledge Bank periodically, let's say once a month or once every two weeks, ensures that the information is kept in your long-term memory. So it's basically a very simple table in Notion where I have four columns, the review column, which I can tick and untick. And this column is helpful for when I review the information at the end of the month to keep track of what I've learned and what I haven't yet learned. The second column is the headline. So I put the most important information here in just one summarized sentence. The third column is what area in my life it relates to. And the fourth column is the source in case I want more context or to reread or rewatch or re-listen to the original source. And if I want to know more information or if I have more knowledge that I want to record, then I click on the line, it opens up, and I can write down as much information and as much context as I want. And I call it the knowledge bank because if you're a student studying multiple different subjects, this is an amazingly simple note-taking database where you can filter different subjects and tick the checkbox column on the left once you've learned it. In my opinion, at least, it's far more effective when learning new information compared with note-taking on pen and paper because I have a bad habit of writing notes in a notepad, but then never Never going back to the notes to learn them. So this is what I really like about Notion. You can have your weekly schedule, your class notes, your to-do lists, your reading lists, your homework assignments, basically everything school and university related organized in one software. So the next page I wanna show you is my weekly schedule. So you can see the schedule that I have now, it's super flexible. I have the bare minimum that I can get away with. So basically the most important task that I need to do each day and batch production is a big part of my routine. So on Monday, I'll upload a YouTube video and write one YouTube video script. Tuesday, I'll write two YouTube short scripts. Wednesday, I'll write another script. Thursday is filming day. Friday is more writing. Saturday is more writing and coming up with new video ideas. And finally, Sunday is my rest day. So most of these tasks only take a couple of hours, right? Meaning that I have the rest of the day to work on, let's say, lesser important tasks. But the main idea here is to keep the schedule ultra flexible. I've tried a lot of different weekly schedules, some that were so detailed and planned my week very rigidly. So every hour I had to be doing whatever my schedule said. So I'll show you a screenshot of a weekly schedule that I had about four years ago. And honestly, I just kept it up for about two weeks before I really realized it was far too difficult to keep to such a rigid schedule because if something unexpected popped up, like I needed to go to the supermarket or I needed a haircut, it would throw my whole schedule off. I actually used to use Trello a few years ago for my weekly schedule, but I found that Notion is just so much more flexible. Notion just does more than Trello. And in my opinion, I'd rather have one software that does everything rather than 10 different apps downloaded onto my laptop. 
The next page is my main note-taking page, which I've called MISC Notes. So I used to use Evernote for my note-taking, then I switched to Apple Notes, and a couple of months ago, I finally switched to Notion, just because, like I said earlier, I like having all my productivity stuff on one software. So these notes are just temporary notes that I need jotting down fast. So for example, I had a meeting a couple of days ago and I was just writing and writing and writing. So I stored those notes here. I also have a meeting on Tuesday and there's quite a lot to discuss. So again, I wrote those notes here. It's super quick and easy and I can delete them as soon as I don't need them anymore. So one of the most important parts to my Notion system is the total video management page. It pretty much runs my entire YouTube channel. We run it similar to a factory production line, right? So when I'm writing a script, I'll have the video in the writing section. Then when it's ready to film, I'll drag it down to the filming section. Then it'll go to the color grading and rendering section then pending, then editing, then reviewing, then optimizing, then schedule, and finally, it will go public. And next, I'll show you the company notice board really quickly. So the entire product Elon company pretty much runs from the total video management page and this page. So as you can see, we have announcements, our missions, vision, and values, company goals, all the different employee policies and benefits and payroll and training, that kind of thing. The next page is speeches. So I literally made this in June, I think. So in June, I had three speeches or presentations in one month. And this page setup is really good for keeping track of them. For example, if I'm in the process of writing to scripting a speech, I'd move it to the in progress section and tag it writing. A very simple database like this would be so helpful if you're writing multiple assignments at the same time in terms of keeping track of deadlines and things like that. I think one of the most important things you can do as a student is at the beginning of the semester, you write down when all your exams are. So the exam topic and date and all your assignments. So the topics and deadlines and have them all in a table so you're prepared. You're not going to have an exam unexpectedly creep up on you without warning. And that kind of thing, very simple database on Notion is perfect for organizing those kinds of things. I'm gonna head over to the archive pages now. So these are pages that I don't actively use anymore. So I've packed them here but there's a page I want to show you. It's my course tracker page. Now, these are courses that I have either not started making yet, or I'm in the process of making them, or I've completed them, right? So I wanted to show you it because I love the drag and drop Kanban style boards. If you have multiple projects going on at school or university, or even if you have a lot of homework, you can keep track with a Kanban board on Notion like this. And when you've completed it, you can then drag it over to the completed section. Now, there are many pages that I haven't shown you. And there's a reason for that. Firstly, because as a student, they're probably not very relevant to you. For example, my team and I have a Monday meeting board for when we have our weekly team meetings and we go over four areas in the meeting. We have KPIs, content strategy, improvements, general and suggested topics. And I have other pages that are just more confidential, such as like employee database page and monthly expenses page, that kind of thing. And honestly, I could have made this video two hours long in explaining in detail everything that I use Notion for. And even though I've been using it for just two years, I'm still just scratching the surface with what it's capable of. And there's a link in the description if you do want to check out Notion for yourself. It's completely free, so why wouldn't you, right? And if you want to check out my other Notion video that I made exactly one year ago, basically going through how I used to use it, you can click on the card on the screen. It's actually kind of interesting how basic my Notion system was back then compared with what it's like right now. And if you are a student, check out my Study Smarter Not Harder playlist, which I I made just a few weeks ago because many of you were asking for it. If you watch the 10 videos on that playlist, you'll be able to study and retain far more information in a shorter period of time. Exam grades are all about studying efficiently, not necessarily just studying more hours.